So here I am down south. Um, I've come to Blue Field Sports for the day and uh, I'm just gonna have a look around their showroom. I've been chatting to the guy and uh, I'm hoping he's gonna maybe basically send me some free stuff. We, we shall see. And uh, there may be some stuff in the, in the works coming up that I can't really mention right now, but we'll, yeah, just watch this space really. But either way, I'm gonna go and do some clay pigeon shooting now. And as you guys know, I've not really done much of that on camera before because I'm basically shit at it, but I'm gonna give it a, a, give it a go anyway. So let's go and do that. So as you can see on the first trap, Callum went first. And fair play to him, he's been practicing. You know, he's pretty good. I, I don't clay shoot really at all. I haven't, God, I haven't been on the clays in God, at least a year, I don't think. And obviously I've picked up the shotgun over Christmas, shooting a few pheasants. But as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of clay shooting. If it hasn't got feathers, for some reason I have a trouble sort of connecting with it. And, I, and to get it out of the way now, because I'm sure Callum will mention it in his video, he did he did beat me actually. He, he got, a, a, I don't know, if you, a handful of well, two or three more clays than me, I think. So he did very well. You know, he's obviously been practicing, and it just goes to show, like with anything in life, you know, if you if you keep keep at something, you'll you, you will get good at it. Um, you know, I think he uh, was uh, would have been more at home if it had his tactical uh, shell holding belt and all the rest of it. But uh, yeah, he still did pretty well. And as you can see there, there's a semi-auto, and. I started off using one of Alex's very, very nice Bretta side plates. And uh, like it is always for me, I struggled, to be honest, because the cant on any off-the-shelf shotgun is just not enough for me. You know, I end up looking over the rib, and then, of course, I've, I've got to sort of shoot low, and I just don't get on with them for some reason, you know, not without them being adjusted. So the semi-auto, or a pump, is, has always got more of a cant in the stock. So, yeah, it just really just helps me get behind it and have that bead and the, the rib lovely and flat so I can actually hit what I'm aiming at. But either way, as you can see, it's a lovely course, and th I think this is actually all Alex's land. I mean, this is his actually his clay shoots that he invited us on. It was very kind of him. And, uh, yeah, we had a good day, had a good chat, and uh, just had a bit of a laugh, really. And we're definitely going to go down there again because um, we're hoping... I mean, I'll give you more details about this when we've got the official release. But what we're hoping is that Alex is going to be able to host some videos for us. Because you know what's been happening, of course, with the ad apocalypse, where, you know, I mean, the money I was making from YouTube was cut by, oh, God, two-thirds, more than two-thirds overnight. And any hunting-type video I do now is immediately, not any, but most hunting videos I do now is demonetized and age restricted. So for instance, the recent rabbit shooting video I did where um, you know, I got that particularly close up headshot on that rabbit, that was immediately age restricted. And of course you appeal and uh, YouTube will say, well, you know, it's, it, they'll say it's not within our community guidelines. Oh, sorry, it is within our community guidelines, but we've decided, you know, it's, it, it's not suitable for, for a certain audience. Even though, <clears throat> Even though, you know, you can be shooting rabbits at pretty much any age in the UK and in most countries. So, you know, that doesn't cut it really. But regardless, that's what happens. And, you know, I don't know how it's the future's, what the future's going to hold for YouTube, to be honest. Because, you know, legally, they're in a grey area. Because people upload content to their site. So say, for instance, they were the equivalent of The Guardian. And they had journalists who were contractors, you know, as most journalists are. They're not employed. They're people who are just given a contract for a certain period of time to work on, you know, for them. And those journalists give them video content and then they host that video content to make money on their site. Well, if that video content it contains copyrighted material or it contains material that's illegal in some way then The Guardian, for instance, would be legally responsible for it, wouldn't it? Because they're a publisher. They've taken that content and decided to publish it. YouTube, however, to avoid that, if there's any copyright issues or anything like that, they won't directly speak to you because they will not admit to being a publisher. They will just say, no, 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 it's nothing to do with us. You, you are responsible for your content, so you can deal with a copyright owner. For the sake of, yeah, for instance, for the, in the example of copyright, or, but that's the same equivalent, you know, if you did something illegal or whatever, then you would be, you know, YouTube would take themselves out of the equation because they're like, hey, you know, we're not publishers, we're just hosting the content. 
But the trouble is, the minute they start censoring you, they start telling you that they don't like, say, shooting or other perfectly lawful, legitimate activities, or even just viewpoints they don't like, you know, Silicon Valley, sort of stuff that's antithesis of Silicon Valley, if you're like a conservative or whatever. The minute they start doing that, they become a de facto publisher. Um, and in fact, well, um, arguably a du jour publisher. If you don't know what I mean by those terms, look them up. <laughs> um, but, you know, legally a publisher. And if that's the case, then, then the people who upload the content to their site, if they commit copyright or do anything wrong, they're not individually liable because they didn't publish it. YouTube did. So what are you, YouTube? Are you a publisher or not? If you're a publisher, censor as much as you like, but you're legally responsible for your content. If you're not willing to be legally responsible for your content, then you, you should stop censoring people. And so this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to find an alternative to that. So if we can get Alex to host our videos, and uh, unlike YouTube or you know any, any other social media company, um, he will not censor in any way other than obviously within the confines of the law, or, you know, the, the image of shooting, which will be, like, the community guidelines. But I will come on to that in more detail another time when we, when we officially release it. It's a bit way off yet. But uh, it will hopefully give us a backup. So keep your eyes open for that. And, of course, support us all on Patreon and follow us on Facebook and so on, just in case. Because we'll be on YouTube for as long as we can, but you never know what might happen. But anyway, this is... Uh, Alex's shop, Bluefield Sports. It is invite only at the moment, but if there's anything you want, I'll put his uh, link to his Facebook group in the description and his website. And you know, just give him a shout, and you know, he, he'll get in whatever you want. And I'm sure you know, if, if you want to to go down there and see him, you know, he'll meet up with you and make you a cup of tea. And as you'll see in a moment, you can uh, have a bit of a play with his very fine collection of blank fires and deactivated pistols, which. Uh, yeah, very, very cool. And uh, in fact, there's a, a, a Webley service revolver there. And I don't even think those even need... I think they're actually an obsolete calibre now, so you don't need to really do anything to them. It just, just is what it is. Although, as you can see, I was having trouble opening it one-handed. Which is strange, because I thought that was the whole point of them. So if you're on a horse, you could open them one-handed. But maybe that's just me, but I struggled. But anyway, I'm going off on the tangent here. Keep watching, uh, keep supporting uh, me, Neil, and Callum, and uh, watch this space. There may be some cool things in the works.